congrats on 200 games coming up, mate. It must be a pretty exciting week for you and you know, a special time. Yeah, thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, I reckon it's been, so far this week, it's been a bit of reflection for me and this is the first time we've been back in the club since the weekend, so I've had time to reflect and um, it's been a pretty awesome journey so far, 13 years, and if you said I was going to play 200 games, I'd probably laugh, but um, yeah, it's been awesome and um, loved every minute of it, so hopefully we can uh, go out and enjoy another game on the weekend. I think like when you're in those times that are challenging you, you obviously can think about it like that, but now you're out the other side, it's, it just shapes you into the person you are and makes you grow and I think as humans you're forever growing and learning um, and that's the way I've sort of attacked things, so I'll continue to do that until the day I die, until I get lowered into a coffin, but um, yeah, I just, I've loved every minute of it. Um, I think we're so lucky to be able to come into football clubs, it's people um, and it's not about players and coaches it's about people that you see every day and people that make football clubs so I've been lucky enough to do that in this great footy club and um, yeah I've just loved every single minute of it. On the other side of that question, what have been the best parts for you? What have been the, the highest moments for you personally? Oh debuting is always, uh, always pretty exciting for myself and family because they've obviously helped me get to where I am and um, you have some excitement and joy out of some games that you've played. Obviously, the grand final was quite enjoyable until the last quarter. And um, the prelim before it was an awesome game to play in. And I think the most enjoyable thing is um, meeting new people, um, relationships that you create and bonds that you are forever going to have. Um, I'll walk out of this footy club with some best mates. and. Um, I've enjoyed most of, well, every every bit of the journey so far. You were one club player, someone that came here so long ago, so you were a young boy and now you're a young man, old man. That's why I've got my hat on now, so you can't see my grey hairs. What is it being a one club player mean, mate? Oh, I think it's, being a one club player would be, would mean a lot to me. Um, but, yeah. Just yeah, I, that sometimes things like that can get taken out of your hands. But if I can be a one club player, it'd mean the world to me. Is the door open for that? I hope so. No, no. The, the door's not open for you not to be a one club player. Yeah, well, yeah. I've always said I, I'm contracted for next year, so I've always said I'd love to honour my contract. I think it's part of um, being loyal, and it's just the way life works. So, um, but we understand the realistic. Part of our football club is we're going through a transition phase, and I think that conversations will need to be had at the end of the year. How many old guys do we keep? What's the list look like? Um, so they're just conversations that are going to need to be had. So um, I'll certainly do that with Nixie in the football club at the end of the year. So will you get on the front foot with that to say what would you like to do, or how, how do you see that? Nah, I'll just ask the question because that's just I, I'd like to know the answer. That's what happens when, when you're unsure, you ask questions and, and you get answers. Do you, sorry, I'm, yeah. do you see yourself playing here next year? Yeah, I'd love to play here. I'd love to play in f for another 10 years, but things that things like that don't happen. So, Matt, they're just things that will just play play out over time. What do you see your role as next year? Do you, do you see yourself playing every game? Do you see management? Do you see mental role? I mean, we're looking too at far, yeah, too far to look ahead, mate. I'm... Right now, I'm just enjoying this week um, and just looking for our first win. I think the excitement and um, belief that it will create with our young group will, will be enormous. If we can get one or two wins going to the break, and I think it will just bring back an enormous amount of um, belief back in pre-season. So that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Another one personally for you, you guys have got more record. Mm. Yeah. Nah, mate, that, that's just, that'll just play out itself. You get a milestone, I mean, it'll be a special moment, you know, you can, when that does happen. 
Yeah, if at the moment. I've only kicked one in the last three weeks, so it might take a little bit longer than I think. But uh, nah, look, I'm, I'm not worried, worried about that at all. How have you found uh, coming into the young ladder now, being a senior player leading this young group through the region? How are you finding it? Love it. I love it, mate. It's um, being able to come here every day and see our young guys just grow and learn every day. At Monday to Fridays, not too many people get to come in and see what our young guys do and what our group is currently doing um, and we've just got to do that that's the direction we need to go and um, it gives me a lot of joy to see guys debut and I think what, how many we had now nine eight or nine um, it's great for our footy club and we understand that we're in in a bit of pain at the moment um, but hopefully when I'm retired I can look back and say I, I played a little bit of part in some guys careers and um, they might be winning premierships, would be good. Just on the high points of your group, mate, Phil Walsh, when he uh, introduced you as captain, and said you make the club a better place, and then you make the club better. Some of the kind of key points of your career, some of that moment and that conversation, all that unfolded? Uh, that's one moment that I've been able to reflect on over the last couple of days, that um, how lucky I am to lead this footy club, and um, Phil put a lot of confidence and belief in me to um, continue on being who I am and, and lead the footy club and yeah obviously losing the field was a very challenging time for all involved but uh, great memories were had when he was around. Stretch along this week, a couple of your old mates have played there, have you spoken to Paddy or JJ or any of those boys this week? No I haven't, not yet, I'm sure we'll, there'll be a few text messages flicked later on in the week but uh, yeah they're in good form so it's going to be a big challenge for us but uh, We'll just keep backing up and try and get our first win. Have you studied much of the game? Mate? I mean, they did a fairly comprehensive job of being supported. Have you studied much of that game or what you expect to get into that? Not yet, no. I watched a little bit of their game. They were very impressive. Um, they're, they're just a great football club. They have been for so long and continue to be. So we're, yeah, we're going to have to be on our game. Um, but we'll, we'll have a little bit of a look at Geelong over the next couple of days.